Hey guys, welcome back to yet another nautical nail art. Today I wanted to take it a little deeper, creepier if you will. So we're going to start off with one coat of the white Twinkle Tea Polish. They don't have the names on the bottle, so make sure you check the description for links of where you can find them. Then we are going to be protecting our skin very, very, very well with Pear Martini from Cuticula. We are going to be going in with that same white polish as well as stamped in taro and boating in blue jeans, both from Painted Polish. The pigmentation on this gradient was intense, which is why like, you really want to protect your skin because this crap stains so bad just because of how pigmented it is. But the blend was absolutely spectacular. I think I did two passes over it. Next, remove the latex that if you weren't as impatient as me, you would have let fully dry, so it would have been a clean peel. And then once you clean up and put back on some more latex, we are gonna be going in with a brand new Born to Sail Zero Two Plate, and we will be using the silver stamping polishes excuse me, and the stamper from Twinkled Tea to lay down that script. It's all nautical marines that it says a lot of just nautical stuff. Going back in with the black stamping polish from Twinkled Tea, we are going to be picking up this so cool octopus image. It's probably my favorite image from the plate. And then we're just going to be placing that down right on top of that for our second layer of stamping. Because my nails aren't gigantically long, I'm going to be going in with my Dance 20 detail brush from What's Up Nails. It's probably my favorite one, and I'm just going to be making sure that those tentacles at the top of my nail completely connect. If you see on the latex, they connect at the top, but again, I wanted more of the tentacle on my nail. After that, go ahead and apply your favorite glossy top coat. I did end up going in and making these matte with the Glistening Glow matte top coat, but you need that good base to protect your nail before you go in with any matte. So here is what she looks like, all done. I hope you guys love these as much as I did. I think this is kind of different from the stereotypical nautical nail art with the stripes and the anchors and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, if you guys liked it, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out and check the links down below so that you guys can check out these products too. Bye guys.